Hello everybody. This is Amitabh. I am your guide to unit 3 of skill enhancement course under North Bengal University. In this session, I am going to demonstrate software that application software and its need system software such as operating system utility programs programming language such as machine language assembly language high level language their advantages and disadvantages so for your convenience i am going to divide the entire unit into three session in the first session i am going to demonstrate uh, the concept of software and its various types and then I am going to illustrate the operating system, its functions and features. In the second session, I am going to demonstrate uh, the utility programs, programming languages such as machine language, assembly language, high level language and their advantages and disadvantages. In the third session, I am going to demonstrate the application software, various application software with example and their uses and their advantages and disadvantages. So let's get started. Before we start, we need to know what the computer is. A computer is a machine or device that performs processes, calculations, and operations based on instruction provided by the user. As we know, a computer cannot think or perform on its own. It performs operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and other data processing tasks and various other multimedia tasks if the instruction given by a user the user issues the instruction and cpu acts in accordance with that instruction the set of instruction which control the sequences operation are known as program and collectively programs are called software so a computer system comprises of two basic components that are hardware and software hardware consists of a physical components of the system such as monitor cpu printer, mouse, keyboard, hard disk, RAM, etc. And software is, as already I have told you, the set of instructions which collectively known as software. Now, why we need software? We need software to interact with hardware. Suppose in a computer, hardware only can understand low level languages which comprises of 0 and 1. If we need to interact with the hardware directly we have to then know all the complex programs and if we need to perform our task we have to know the entire instruction set in the form of low level languages so to avoid this we need software which is user friendly and which can perform the task which 
instructed by the user another reason is to provide user interface as you know to perform a task we can design a software in such a way that it can be operated by a normal user for that we don't need to know the complex program another one is to manage data by using the software we can manage data by managing we mean to say inserting the various data information and then rearranging them editing them and manipulating them whatever we want to do with the data we can do if we use software we can run applications there are several application software or custom software which can be run in our operating system so for that also we need software as you can see human user can interact with the hardware through operating system or even through application software then operating system and then hardware or even through application software operating system other system software then hardware so this is the basic communication process uh, of a user with the hardware to perform a specific task now based on the functionality we can categorize the software into two basic types the one is system software and another is application software system software can be defined as a collection of program that designed to operate control and extend the computer's processing capabilities system software is a computer program that control the system hardware and interacts with application software on the other hand application software uh, is a custom software that runs on system software and based on uh, need and purpose we can divide the application software into two types the general purpose application software and special purpose application software on the other hand uh, based on functionality we can divide the system software into five categories that is sub categories uh, first one is operating system and second one is the device driver and third one is the utility software and the fourth one is the language processor and the fifth one is bios <laughs> okay now let's discuss discuss about the features and functions of system software uh, system software is a fast and speed uh, it is responsible for various tasks including controlling the cpu memory monitor keyboard mouse floppy disk drive cd rom etc system software works closely with the operating system software that runs the computer it is not easy to design uh, it, it is also uh, very closer to the system that is directly interact with the hardware and uh, not uh, easy to understand as uh, the program is already uh, always uh, written in uh, machine level that is a uh, low level languages and that is known as machine code uh, so it cannot be easily understand uh, understand by any uh, normal user 
uh, but it is a small in size as it is a complex and uh, directly interact with the hardware uh, and also as you know it is a uh, written in uh, machine code uh, the function function uh, basically uh, re it reads data and receive information uh, translate data and instructions control all the peripheral devices uh, and uh, process and generate required output. Now, the first uh, one of the subcategories is uh, the operating system. Operating system software is that uh, which is responsible for functioning all the hardware parts and they are interoperability to carry out tasks successfully operating system is the first software uh, that is to be loaded into the computer memory when the computer is switched on and this is called booting ways manages a computer's basic basic functions uh, like uh, storing data in memory uh, retrieving files from storage devices, scheduling tasks based on priority, etc. Uh, some example of operating system are as uh, displayed in the uh, presentation, uh, such as uh, Mac base, uh, which is a, a series of graphical user interface based on operating system developed by uh, Apple. Uh, for their Macintosh and Microsoft Windows is a series of graphical interface operating system developed, marketed uh, and sold by Microsoft and there are several version of those operating system uh, from very beginning to now and uh, that generation after generation and now uh, we are very familiar with iOS and Android uh, operating system uh, those are used in our uh, smart uh, mobile devices. Uh, so those are the uh, example of uh, operating systems which interact with the specific hardware uh, that is compatible with that specific operating system. So in action you can see that user 1 to user n those uh, interact uh, with hardware uh, through the software where the software includes the operating system and other application softwares and hardware includes what the CPU RAM and input output devices talk about the functionalities of operating system uh, in the uh, slide uh, you can see several functionalities of operating system uh, where uh, first come process management in a multi-programming environment the operating system decides the order in which processes have access to the processor and how much processing time each process has this function of the operating system is called process scheduling and now comes the memory management the operating system manages the primary memory or main memory main memory is made up of a large array of bytes or words where each bytes or words is assigned a certain address main memory is first storage and it can be accessed directly by the CPU. For a program to be executed, it should be first loaded in the main memory and operating system perform the activities which known as memory management. Now comes the file management. A file system is organized into directories for efficient or easy navigation and uses. These directories may contain other directories than other files 
an operating system carries out the file management activities. It keeps track of where information is stored, user access settings, the status of every file and more. And now comes the device management. An operating system manages device communication via its respective drivers. It performs the activities for device management, keeps track of all the devices connected to the system, designates the program responsibility responsible for every device known as the input and output controller, decides which process gets access to certain device and for how long, allocate device efficiently and effectively, deallocate devices when they are no longer required. And now comes security. The operating system uses password protection to protect user data and similar other techniques. It also prevents unauthorized access to program and user data. And now comes job accounting. The operating system keeps track of time and resource used by various tasks and users. This information can be used to track resources used for a particular user or group of users. Now uh, come the networking. The operating system provides network connectivity and manages communication between computers on a network. It also manages network security by providing firewalls and other security measures. It also manages the coordination between the other softwares and users. Telling this, I am just uh, finishing my session, the first session over there. Uh, so, you have to keep emphasize on uh, the following topics such as the definition of the software, what actually software is and needs of software and the types of software, basic categories of the software and needs of system software, features of system software and uh, functionalities of operating system, what is operating system and various examples of the operating system. By telling this, I'm just uh, leaving you, uh, allow me. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Have a good day.